Hey everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'm going to discuss a digital marketing agency starter snapshot that I just built. This is for digital agency owners and for those who haven't signed up for their high level account yet. If you sign up using my link, I'm going to give this one for free and you can see in the video as I'm going to discuss what this snapshot has and how you can use it to its full potential. Now, uh, I'm going to be really brief here because I don't want to go through all of them and waste a lot of your time. So let's get into it. This snapshot has a lot of automations going on and I've tried my best to keep it automated, the parts that I can automate, you know. So if we talk about the pipelines, actually there are two pipelines. The first one will be leads and the second one will be clients. So leads is where we nurture the leads, prospects and chat with them, try to close them sell them offers and stuff. So uh, as a new lead comes in through a Facebook ad or a Google ad or a form or the website, uh, the lead will get added to different types of automations based on his choice. So if the lead selects Google ad, this lead will be added to a Google ad nurture sequence. If it's web design, if it's SEO and blah, blah, blah. So all these have different kinds of automation sequences going on. If the lead books an appointment, the lead will be a prospect and this prospect will be automatically moved to here. And if the lead does not book a call, instead replies to one of the automation sequences, this tile will be moved to here. And there are automated uh, appointment booking reminders going out if the prospect cancels or does not show up for some reason the prospect will be automatically moved here and if uh, he or she you know attends we will automatically move them to in audit phase and in audit phase means like not necessarily we are doing an audit for the lead or the prospect but in audit phase means we are just having a conversation that's that's also a part of audit right so after audit or after we had our discussion we can book a proposal call so we move it here this stage has its own confirmation and reminders going out and then we move it to follow up and then we move to send contract and then closed i'm not going to go to all those details but in in send contract there are some automations going out uh there's a payment funnel in this snapshot which gets the link to that payment funnel will be sent once you move the tile to here so you don't actually have to do anything you don't have to send anything or stuff you just set up the funnel and that's all and that's all set up you just need to fill the dots and once it's closed uh the prospect becomes a client and gets moved to here payment collected and then once the client ends up here he or she will receive uh, another automated text and email with the onboarding form and the onboarding form as soon as it gets submitted uh, the client will be moved here automatically and then once the onboarding is done someone from the team will have to move the tile from here to campaign start and then pause and stop and so on so what does other than this uh, automation sequences that i just spoke about what else does this snapshot have so if we go to automations, you can see the lead nurture automations, appointment booking workflows, proposal call workflows, as we just discussed, closing campaigns and onboarding campaigns. And if you uh, look, these are based on the interest of the lead. These are different types of automation sequences. As you can see, it's DND handles. So you, you just don't end up being a blacklisted or those kind of stuff. So that's also handled here. Uh, if it's more than 14 days, so stale opportunity nurture campaigns are here as well. Uh, appointment booking chatbot. So once somebody leaves a message in the chatbot, this workflow will try to get an appointment with him automatically. Uh, you can choose not to use it. Moreover, for those who don't have a site yet, I have created a funnel for them to use temporarily or they can use it uh, no matter how many days they want. This is the template that I'm giving away. This one also has that form in it. So if if you use it and if like maybe click one of these buttons and this is the form once anybody fills it up he or she will be added to this automation sequence that we just saw these are not like dummy content as you can see you know these are legitimate content written by me and the team so this you can use for yourself if you don't have a website if you have a website just go ahead and embed this form and the automation sequence starts so this is also there and also i'm gonna give you a few other landing pages for local businesses so if you have clients maybe roofing clients i've have some killer landing pages in this so you can just share uh to the other account for your client and just you know get it going construction and then 
payment funnel is for handling the payments. So this one will be used uh, if you want to take payments using high level from your clients. Uh, if it's a one time thing, if it's a recurring thing, you can totally do it. What more I can do for you is when somebody signs up using my link again. So I will give a set of tutorials for you to set up. So in that video sequence, in that tutorial sequence, I will discuss from A to Z on how to use this snapshot to uh, its full potential, obviously. And that's it. This is the kind of uh, stuff I'm building. And there are a few more coming along the way. So hopefully they also will be completed in the next few days. And I'm looking forward to finishing them and making them live so I can share them with you. Once again, sign up using my link and I'm going to give it to you for free. And also the video sequence that will help you set it up and use it 100%. So hope this video helped you understand what this uh, snapshot is and what it can do for your digital agency. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you.